Hello guys, we will review the Bulwark Building and Roof Park project with you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's move on to the video. Built to inform tourists visiting the city, the building also provides the city with a neatly designed small rooftop park. The owner of the architectural project, Van Roosmelen, explains Van Gessel Architecten. The building in the Dutch city of S. Hertogenbosch was built on the site of the ruins of one of the city's four main entrances, which in the past were protected by walls. Sitting on the banks of the Dommel River, the building welcomes passengers from the train station to the city center. The roof of the building made of rusted steel material provides a small parking space for its visitors. The walls on the river that passed through S. Hertogenbosch, which was a city protected by walls in the past, were destroyed in order for the river to flow faster. The building, which remains underground when viewed from the road elevation, was built by the stream to display the remains of these walls and to provide information about the history of the region. Some of the supporting walls of the fortifications were rebuilt for the new building, and the roof was placed on steel columns between these two walls. Remains of the walls are left visible in the building designed by Van Roosmel and Van Gessel Architects. The roof of the building, designed to be used as an entry point for tourists visiting the region, has been turned into a park 1.5 meters above the road level for city residents. The park was designed by Oslo Urban Design and Landscape Design Office. The small parking area of 700 square meters has been designed for a large number of users with plenty of seating units. The fact that the park is located in one of the bends of the Dommel River gave visitors a wide view across the river in either direction. Concrete tiles in the form of ice flows, designed specifically for this project, covered the light spherical floor surface. The pebble surfaces filled between the tiles were applied to allow the tree roots to get water and air, as they are permeable. In the section of the plant sections, some were buried in the ground, while some were raised with steel frames and colored with green grass in all seasons. The trunks of the trees planted alongside this green color were painted chestnut color with natural pigments, thus trying to match the rusted steel. 